Welcome to MTD CNC. Today we're going to do a little bit of an educational piece on engine block manufacture and, and engine cylinder head skimming, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm holding this tool awkwardly because I don't want it to drop, but this is a special tool that you manufacture yourself. Can That's you tell correct. us a little bit about it, please? Well, the customer asked that I did this in one pass. They didn't want lines joining up. So I had to make this uh, face mill. It's 180 mil diameter rather than buy one because they're very expensive to buy. So I came up with this idea manufactured it uh, in-house. I bought these cartridge holders from Seco and then just made that and fitted it onto a, a holder and it worked to trees. So you've got a standard shell, shell malaba, face malaba, yeah, standard shell manufactured milk. the rest of the, the kind of holding yeah. body. Yeah, so most people use a single insert, uh, a face mill they take all the other inserts out because for various reasons. Why have you got two inserts here? Normally you just, need, you just have to have one because you need a nice clean surface. Well if you had just one you've got to go slower to get your finish. Um, if you just use two inserts in a standard face mill, you can get differences in the height. So doing it this way with these cartridges, they're adjustable. So I can set the height of these absolutely bang on. Yeah, so these aren't actually just standard little inserts, um, insert cartridges with a fixing, a fixing bolt and a, an insert socket. These actually have a little, uh, little axial drive screw here, That's which right. you can use to adjust the, yes. the individual height of each insert which is quite complicated because you normally only get these with PCD cutters mm -hmm. with like kind of big kind of 12, in, 12 uh, inserts. That's really cool, I love that. And then, what is the result? We're gonna have, I'm gonna put this all down now because it's a very lovely piece of equipment. And now you're gonna show us what the actual result is on this cylinder head, we're on a granite block with a couple of blocks. We're measuring the parallelism, is that right? Mm -hmm. what, what are we measuring actually, Steve? The, the parallelism across the, the length of the block because we want the cylinder head to be perfectly flat. We don't want it sat on an angle because we want the engine to be in, in balance. So, so we're going to, our clock is uh, about... More or less zero That's there. measuring that, so that, that is a 10 micron increment there, so 10 micron block. Okay. So we've got 10 micron here is our baseline, compared to ooh, zero micron here, which is all right. Compared to zero micron here. So actually, you've got 10 micron across what is, I guess, what, 400 mil? Yeah. So it's actually, and actually that's not, yeah, 10 micron. So it's, mm. a, pretty, it's a pretty good uh, accuracy you get, uh, or pretty good parallelism you get across that part because good machine, Herco, good machine, and also because you've got a really good facing head you made yourself. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. I hope you guys have learned something. I've learned something about cylinder head manufacturing. You can make your own tools if you need to.